The Ream International Circuit in Saudi Arabia was the venue for the fifth and sixth rounds of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East. The halfway stage of the series would see five drivers locked in an intriguing tussle for honour, which could go all the way down to a dramatic climax in the UAE in April. Saudi Arabia's defending champion Abdulaziz Al Faisal started in pole position. The first race of the weekend would live up to all expectations. The Saudi driver on home territory would hold on to the lead for 14 of the 18 laps in what was at times a bumper-to-bumper -bumper battle with the Bahraini Salman Al Khalifa. The leader of the current series, Salman Khalifa, would eventually make his move in the dying stages of this first race. Extraordinary move by Salman Al Khalifa in front of the grandstand would exert massive pressure on Abdulaziz. Abdulaziz's spin at the end of the back straight presented the series leader with a clear path to his third race win in the 2010-2011 championship. After starting in fifth, Abu Dhabi's Khalid Al Khabesi again underlined his great progress this season by grabbing second place after shrugging off a determined challenge from Saudi teenager Fahad Al Qasabi, who finished third. Abdulaziz Al Faisal would drop to finish in fourth, with fellow Saudis Banda Al Isai and Banda Al Reza completing the top six. The win by Bahrain Sheikh Salman kept him in the lead of the overall series. And then in the end, you know, like you said, keeping the pressure on, it, uh, it helped and uh, got a better exit out of the final corner. And that was it, got it, managed to get first place. Some more points to keep in the lead of the championship. So on the podium after the fifth round of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East, would see Saudi Fahad Al Qasabi finish in third. The UAE driver Khalid Al Qabesi took a well-deserved second, while the Bahraini Salman Al Khalifa took his third win in the series. The second race at the Reem International Circuit, the sixth in the series, would see Saudi Abdulaziz in pole position for the second day in succession. Abdulaziz Al Faisal pulled away from the chasing group after the first corner. A breathtaking race-long battle for podium places which changed hands several times as Salman al Qabesi, teenager Fahad al Qasabi, and Saudi Banda al Isai fought for every inch on the twisting ream circuit. The reigning champion Prince Abdulaziz led from start to finish, eventually won by 18 seconds to atone for his setback 24 hours earlier. After climbing from third to second place with a brilliant start, Al Qabesi held on to that position until Sheikh Salman squeezed ahead of them. Uh, we're still midway through the season. Uh, I think six races to go and a lot to happen. So uh, it's going to be very interesting for the spectators. But for us, it's, it makes life a bit much harder to win the championship. It was just mayhem. We were overtaking each other almost on every lap. And uh, I'm glad in the end, brought it home in second, managed to bag more points and, uh, and keep uh, or extend uh, my championship lead, uh, leaving Riyadh. So I'm, uh, I'm very well pleased. For Abdulaziz Al Faisal, the win was important to keep him in the championship race. Winner of the first race of the meeting, Bahrain Salman Al Khalifa took second, the points here keeping him in the lead of the overall championship. The UAE driver Khalid Al Qabesi finished in third, the points here keeping him third overall in the championship. While the defending champion Saudi Abdulaziz Al Faisal took victory overall.